So I've got a couple free days here and I'm heading up to the mountains right now. I got my fishing pole with me and I'm just gonna try to catch some trout. I'm passing through the foothills right now, probably got another hour and a half or so until I get to the camping spot I'm gonna stay at. I've never actually fished this river before. This is gonna be the first river fishing of the year I'm gonna be doing. Most rivers around here are closed to trout fishing until the end of April, but I looked over the fishing game and freshwater regulations and found this spot. And so we'll see if we can catch anything. Just stopped here to take a look at the river. Thought about hiking down to give it a go, but I can't find any good routes to go down to the river from here. So I'll just keep it moving. If there's another spot that looks better, I'll stop and give it a go. Awesome weather though, so I'm stoked about that. Pull off here, gonna charge my drone battery while I go down and give this little fishing hole a try. This is just a little tributary to the main river. I saw a nice little pond as I was driving down the other side, so I'm gonna try to make my way down towards it. And that's where I'm headed. Just got a little rooster tail spinner on here right now. Well, gave it about 20 minutes, wasn't getting any bites, so I'm gonna get back to the truck and head towards the campsite. This road is pretty gnarly right now, tons of rock slides. It's about two o'clock right now, there's a lot of campsites along this road. I say campsites, but they're really just open areas where you can camp with pit toilets and stuff. No running water though. But I'm gonna keep heading down the road and try to find a campsite that looks quiet and is at a good area on the river. All right, looks like we'll be here for the night. Here we've got the Notellum River. Got a nice spot right next to the river, and uh, doesn't seem to be anyone else here, so I've got the whole place to myself. So I've got my sleeping bag right here, backpack full of my fishing supplies, uh, I got my fishing pole, water sandals, and a bag with other fishing gear and some night crawlers and stuff in there. Probably not the first person to ever do this, but I figured I'd just throw my drone up in the sky and take a look at where the good fishing spots might be. This way it'll maybe save me a little bit of time for finding the best fishing pools. I just threw on this Joe's Fly short striker and a split shot, no swivel, just a super simple setup. It's still pretty light so we'll probably add another split shot or two. So I'll be the first person to tell you guys I'm not the best fisher in the world. In fact I'm usually pretty lousy at it but it's something I enjoy and just being out here is what I like. I'm gonna try heading upstream. From the looks of the drone footage, that seems to be the best direction to go for fishing, but I gotta figure out if I can cross these little streams first. I'm working on traversing these streams, but I just saw this little pond up here, so I'm gonna give this a try. Been here for like 15 minutes, no bites yet, but the wind just changed directions and now I'm getting a whiff of this guy. Pretty unpleasant, so I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna see if I can get across these streams still. Well, couldn't get across those streams, uh, so just trying right here right now where this little stream meets the river. So this section of the river isn't stocked. It's mostly wild rainbow trout with some brown as well. I can keep two fish here, but make sure wherever you're fishing to check the fish and game regulations because it's different for every river, even different sections of river, so that's super important to check. Got an orange and got some worms. I haven't caught a fish yet, but it's not bad out here. Throwing a night crawler on right now. They haven't been biting at my spinners.
what I'm trying to do is cast upstream and let the lure kind of float downstream as I reel it in. I'm getting quite a few nibbles right now with the night crawlers, but no fish yet. So I can keep two fish out here. If I catch a trout, I'll probably keep it and cook it up for dinner. Oh, that feels like a fish. Gotcha. Oh, come here, come here. Shit. Well, that's fishing. Nature's refrigerator. Dinner is served. Well, not the best start to fishing, but I've got tomorrow. Plus, it is absolutely gorgeous out here right now. And ultimately, that's kind of the drought of these places. Looks like a full moon tonight, too. I'm going to get settled down for the night now. Probably wake up pretty early tomorrow morning and try my luck again. I did bring those panels of reflectives with me to keep my camper a little warmer. I used them during my urban camping video, but... It doesn't feel like it's going to get that cold tonight, and I'll probably actually sleep with my windows open. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, time to go fishing. It's about 6.30 right now. Slept pretty well. Just had a cup of coffee, and now I'm going to try my luck again. Early morning out here is my favorite. I'm gonna try out this rooster tail again. Nothing new here, folks. No luck upstream, so headed down to this little eddy behind this boulder. I don't know if you can see on the video, but there's a trout following my spinner. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna hop in the truck and start driving downstream and make stops at any place that looks good. Some people only know how to pack in. You gotta pack in and pack out. And if you're gonna eat Popeyes out here, at least clean up after yourself. Well, you win some, and you lose some. Wish I could have hooked more fish out here, but it's getting late and gotta head out now. I probably spent a good six hours or so fishing today, and I really only got a couple of bites, um, but you know, that's fishing. I'll be back out here for sure though, but for now, I'm heading towards the coast. Mm -hmm.